Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. All right, I am your host, Stephanie Garrett, and today we are going to be making an easy, super easy uh, DIY purse charm and keychain. Oh, hold on. So we, uh, I'm going to be putting together, you know, um, just some charms and stuff on a um, keychain. I'm going to show you a few different ways to do this. There are a few different ways. Obviously, there's different ways to do a lot of different things. But, um, yeah, so let me uh, go ahead and get my tablet out so I can see the chat while I uh, wait for a few people to come in, okay? So, hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Too many things going on right now. Too much happening. So, hold on. Uh, come on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right. If you want to um, craft along with me, you can. You know, if you're making something today. On this Saturday afternoon, I decided to go live. A little impromptu. Because everybody goes live on Sunday. And I don't know, it seems like it's just kind of everything gets bogged down on a Sunday, you know, when everybody's live. So, yeah, I decided to go ahead and do it today. All right. So, all right. Got a couple of people watching. I'll go ahead and type something. Hey, Poochie. I'm Hold on. Ah, I got to turn it, turn it down. Turn it down. Okay. Just a second. I think everybody can hear me okay. Whoever's watching. Looks like there's three people coming here. Make sure you have live chat checked. Okay. So let me put this up here so I can see everything. Uh, hold on. I think that's correct. Okay. All right. Four people. So everybody say hi. Even if you're lurking, just go ahead and type in and say hi. <laughs> so we're going to be making some easy uh, purse charms out of keychains and maybe even a keychain. I mean, they're kind of one and the same. Is just different ways to do it and however you want to lay it out and all that, you know. So this is one of the first ones I made last night because I got a couple of new handbags. Okay, thank you, Poochie. Hold on. Somebody's calling on the phone, y'all. Hold on a second. Just a second. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, I, may, I got a couple of new handbags on my road trip. And that video is actually up on my, before I talk about this, that video is up on my new channel stephanie g's lifestyles and i will pull it up here i'm gonna pull it up when a few people i want a few people to join before i pull it up it's a new haul video i got some new stuff when i went to vegas so that video is up on the channel you can check out just a few things that i got from my little road trip that i took with the girls it was a girl's trip it was a lot of fun i went with a couple of uh people my sister-in-law and a cousin, and uh, we took a, a road trip to Vegas because they flew out here from Chicago. Now, I'm just going to talk for a few minutes before I wait for folks to come in. <laughs> I went to Vegas four years ago with, with somebody who didn't want to go and who didn't really particularly care for me, but they felt like they were obligated to go. And I had a horrible time. And it was on my birthday. Horrible time, y'all. Oh, my God. It was so horrible. So ever since then, I had kind of had a PTSD feeling about going on a road trip. <laughs> right <laughs> go with people you like and go with people who like you that's all i can say poochie because when i went four years ago girl, go girl it was a mess so i i was a little uh afraid to go with anybody else because i had such a horrible time the last time that i went and uh this time was so different and it's amazing when you go with people that you all like to do the same things you all want to go same places you all have the same interests it makes such a huge difference that's all i can say you know, this trip, we we took, had some drinks, and we went and ate, and we went and shopped, and it was real, real cute, y'all, real cute. The first time, I didn't get a chance to do any of that. It was horrible, 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 horrible. Never in my life will I go anywhere with that particular person ever again in my life. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, because <laughs> you never know who's watching your show, right? And I have no shame, no shame in saying that. So anyway, uh, I bought some stuff. Here, let me pull it up. Now that I only got, well, looks like I said uh, uh, I had like five people joining me, but uh, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Y'all can watch the replay. So let me pull this up. 
This is my new channel, Stephanie G's Lifestyles, okay? So there's the new video, the Las Vegas road trip. All right, you get to see my new bags that I got. I got Coach, a Mark Jacobs dupe, and some other stuff. So I want you to go ahead and subscribe for those of you who are not subscribed to my new channel. I'm trying to grow my new, my new little channel. I will try to upload videos over there as much as I possibly can. Um, but because it is a lifestyle channel, so it's going to really depend on, you know, my time and what I'm doing and if I have a chance to film and all that kind of stuff, as opposed to this channel, Stephanie Garrett's Stephanie Garrett Creative, you know, I film all the time over here. So, yeah, if you want to see some good um, link in the description box after, please. Oh, yeah. Let me get you the link right now. Hold on. Just a second. <laughs> Hold on. I will give you a link. Copy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. I'm getting the link. I'm pulling the link. Here we go. Paste. There we go. All right. That's the link to my new channel. All right. So, yay. Y'all go ahead and join me over there. And um, check me out. I don't have a link for, I mean, a, um, you know, a customized link just yet. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the name that like that. We'll see. <laughs> so once I settle on a, you know, fully settle on a name name, I think that's what it's going to be, but it could change in the future. Then I will get a custom customized link. But for right now, that's what, that's what it is. So again, if you want to check out, um, hold on, you know, what I, uh, what I did on my, um, vacay, you can check it out. All right. So I'm going to stop it here so you can go over there and watch it. All right. All right. Y'all look at all the cute stuff I got. Thank you, Poochie. I appreciate it. So yeah, I'll have um, non-crafty stuff over there. You know, beauty, um, fashions, you know, if I buy clothes, purses, shoes, etc., and other like household things, you know, stuff like that. I want to just put it over there because I feel like it fits better on that channel. But um, yeah, so this is, uh, that's my, this is Las Vegas Road Trip Coach, Mark Jacobs, Dupes, and more. Okay. All right. Hold on, y'all. Let me get back on this. There we go. All right. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Okay. All right. Now, I have five people watching, so I'm going to go ahead and get into, the, get into this tutorial. Let me um, adjust myself here. Adjust my microphone and such. Okay. All right. Now, let me show you the, per the first time I did make for my new coach bag. All right. And I did do a walkthrough of this bag on the other channel. So if you really want to see the purse, how how cute it is, how it looks, uh, watch that video. It's The link is in the description. And if you're watching the replay, the link will be down in the description box uh, after the video is rendered. Okay. So now this is my new coach bag. Oh, wait, she's cute. I'm gonna have to, because uh, I'm real close for the tutorial. Now, this is the purse charm that I made for this bag. It's so cute. Let's see. Can we see it? Hold on, y'all. It's so cute, right? Look at that. It's beautiful. With the little wings, angels there. I already had the, the bigger pieces. I just added some other pieces to it. Um, because I might even change this out. I have to find some other clasps. They're in somewhere. They're around somewhere, y'all. Um, I have to dig them out. But I put the, um, this on the purse. Okay, because I was in the coach store. And, um, hold on. I put, I was in the coach store. And they had just the cutest charms, right? The little charms you hang out the bags. And I looked at the price and I was like. I mean, they weren't horribly expensive because it was an outlet, but I was like, well, for 15, 20 bucks, I could make my own, right? <laughs> Gorgeous love to go. Thank you. So this is my other little bag. And then this is the other little charm that's going to go in this. Now I'll probably have to redo this because it's too big. But um, because I just wanted to test this out. But look at that. Isn't that cute? This is a crossbody bag. And I also did a walkthrough of this little bag too so on the channel. But look at the little purse. It matches perfectly, doesn't it? 
Isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> so that's what we're going to be making in the video today. Uh, just something easy and simple. You know, a quick little DIY. All right. Nothing, um, nothing too major. I wanted to do something easy and fun. And I had everything out. And I was sitting here uh, making, you know, making some. And I thought, well, I should just go ahead and film it. <laughs> go ahead and film it, right? Now, I'll show you what I have here. You know what? Let me dig out some clasps, y'all. Hold on one second. One second. Wait a minute. Let me see. All right. Hold on. Um, let me see. I don't think this is the right one. Oh, wait. Well, I have the silver one. I have that one. Well, I'll have to... All right, well. All right. Well, I have to dig out some other clasps, but I found this one. So, there are different types of clasps you can use for this. Okay. If you're going to use it for a bigger purse, you can go with the bigger ring. That's just my suggestion. But again, you do whatever you want, right? And it opens like this. And then I got these at Hobby Lobby. Right? So you get them, you know, on sale for, what, $1.99 or whatever. So I got them in gold and silver. So these are really cute. And if um, you have a smaller bag, like I said, you can go with a smaller clasp. Right? Now, if you have a colorful bag, you can also add some more colorful uh, clasps and rings if you want to. All right, so there's a lot of different ways to uh, make these. Now, the, you know, the, the normal way is to make put the chain, you know, use the chain and attach everything to the chain and all that. You can make it like that, obviously. And I've done that. I have a video on that on my channel somewhere. It's probably under the um, jewelry making section. But um, I like the idea of the other one, this one. Just with the charms and i use split rings i didn't use jump rings because the split rings will hold better jump rings will come right off you need something a little bit more industrial you know so um i just use that all right now this one has what four charms on it four no five has five charms this is really cute all right so if you have charms and stuff in your um stash you can go ahead and make some you know make something like this easy breezy so again they come like this so you can just attach the charms to that super easy and then you can do the chain or you could do what i did here and that's just leave the this is actual keychain but you can you know detach this which i'm gonna do so what i'm gonna do is here let's just go ahead and get into it i'm going to take this off and well if i can find the the opening here is there an opening on this let me see y'all it may not be i might have to cut it with some um oh there it is <laughs> i was gonna say i may have to cut it because if it's a soldered ring it's all the way around there's no way to open it so you'd have gonna have to take your your cutters and cut them open to get the, the get the uh, jump ring off now these are tough so we're gonna save that all right so I want that. Um, I want this little piece. So I'm going to put this jump ring back on here. And then put it back on the key ring. So it's just like that. Okay. Easy peasy. So if you find a keychain that you really like. So you want to, you know, you find a keychain out somewhere. You're traveling or shopping or whatever. You want to find a keychain. You say, oh, I really like this keychain, right? Well, you can detach this piece. You know, and as opposed to putting on your keys and use it as a purse charm. Okay, so let me make sure this is good to go. All right. All right. All right. Let me rock it back and forth. Make sure it's closed. So, because they have a lot of really cute keychains out there, you know. And um, you can always add your own stuff to them. So, now here's my jump rings. All right, now I have different, not jump rings, split rings. So I have different kinds. I want to have clasps in here too, but these are split rings. These are nine millimeter, and I believe these are seven millimeter. These, the smaller ones. And I have different colors. So these obviously are all three different, well, four different 
you know, one, two, three, four, five different types of gold, right? Because, you know, as you know, you know, there's different types of colors of gold. So I wanted some that's going to match the different things that I make. Now, I have been using um, these, the lighter ones. But then again, let me see. Let's see what color that, that works. I mean, either one works or this one. But I didn't want to use these because these I thought these nine millimeters were too big. You know, I don't know. So I might just go with these. I'm going to take a few out. All right. And I got this container at Dollar Tree. So this one at Dollar Tree containers. for your. They, they're great for holding little small items. So what I was going to do is just add this star, but it has a connector, right? It has a connector. And so I'm going to attach the turtle, this little turtle, to the star. And then attach the star to the key ring. All right. Now, um... I would personally put one, uh, a split ring on here just so it won't fall off. Or you can use a heavy gauge jump ring. It's up to you. Personal choice. Okay. And this is for somebody, for, for people who like kind of the cute purse charms, the glamorous purse charms, things like that. But you know what? Also, guys, for those of you who make journals, these can double as a journal dangle as well. So they could serve different purposes. Okay. Different purposes and different things so all right let me take this off there there it is okay so that took a minute all right now the thing is that the these split rings are always so hard to open i hate them <laughs> but they will hold your stuff together so i'm going to go ahead and just take the the tip of that you see that it has a little hook on there so you're going to just open it as best you can I try to open mine a little bit more so. Wait, let me find the beginning of it. Hold on. All right, there we go. All right. Hold on, let me see. I feel like I'm not in the middle, y'all. Just a second. Let me get my microphone over here. I got having problems. <laughs> Make sure my microphone is good, all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to uh, open this. Um, okay. All right. So I pull mine open just a little bit just because sometimes these uh, little uh, uh, things right here, the connectors are thick. So it's kind of hard to get them on there. So what I do is I just open it. It's hard to open them without it. Exactly. Yes, Poochie. Absolutely, freaking lutely. It's hard. So I just take mine. And here, this is what I do. So I hope, well, y'all, where'd it go? Oh, wait a minute. It flew. <laughs> it flew. Let's try that again. Let's see. Um, I'm going to try to, oh, actually, let me use these, my heavy duty things here. So. All right, there we go. Just take it and do it like that. Put it around. There you go. Because you can always push this in later. See how it's sticking out like that? That's just the way that I do it. <laughs> so uh, once I get it on there, I'll just, I'll close it up. All right. I will pick the hardest thing to open on, on camera, right? So what I'm doing is I'm not adding it to the jump ring. I'm going to add it to this part because I kind of want them to hang a certain way. So I'm just going to put it on there and uh, I know y'all can, can't see because of my fat hands. So <laughs> hold on and you just put it on there and you just take it and go around like that. And then that's it. It's on there. Now you say, well, well that's sticking out. It's going to fall off. Not necessarily. If you could take it and with your pliers and just take it and kind of tuck the wire under there. See, it's closed. Well, no, maybe not. <laughs> I did it to the other ones. Hold on. So you have to tuck your tuck, bend your wire and tuck it a little bit. Kind of almost bend it back in place. Let me make sure this is, is this on here. Wait, let me make sure that it's on here. 100% here. 
Hold on, y'all. I'm out of camera because I can't see. There we go. So, I'm just going to take it and just, just tuck that wire on there. Hold on. It takes a minute to kind of shove it under there. So, all right, now, that's how that looks. Okay, very cute. All right, so, and you just, you know, do your other one the same way, because you're going to put your other little charm, because I kind of want them to hang like that. I think that's going to be so cute to hang them like that, right? And um, you can make as many of these as you want. I have another. I had intended to film this video. And then I have another video that I made something else in. To come out before this one. But I decided to go ahead and just film it. <laughs> what are you doing? Like. Excuse me y'all. Children. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Making sure he's not, you know doing something crazy in there <laughs> you know you gotta watch your kids <laughs> especially you know certain ones because they'll be running down the street <laughs> so uh all right i'm putting this on here like that all right there we go all right putting that on there making sure and then i'm just going to attach it to the starfish let me see. I might not be able. This is this hook is just a little bit different. So we'll see if this works. I don't know. I might have to uh, do something else. We're gonna try it. Let's try it, even if it doesn't work. Sometimes you have to try things and figure it out. I'm gonna make sure this hangs the the way I want it to hang. Right. Just make be be conscious of the direction you're putting it on because you want to make sure it hangs the way you want it to hang. All right. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Wait. <laughs> Maybe it's not. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Thank you. That's so cute. And the same thing. You just um, close them up. <laughs> Let me make sure this is all in here. There we go. All right, let's try to close it up. There we go. Easy peasy. Now, this doesn't really go together, but I love it anyway. So you look good coming and you look good going. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's just like adding, you know, like I said, you can get your, get your key, find a keychain that you really love and just add some extra bits to it. Okay, so that's really cute for a little purse charm, I think, or a journal charm. This would be cute on a journal. You could just make the class smaller if you're going to do a journal. So I have this other one, and um, but I also have some silver, silver ones, and I put this one together. Now, let's do this one. I don't know if I have time to do the chain one, but we already seen all everybody do the chain one, right? So this have, these have jump rings on them, some of them. I already put one on here because I was playing with it last night trying to put them together and um yeah so let me open this all right take that off we keep the jump rings because we can reuse them for something I'll take these off take off the jump rings of the charms all right i'm gonna make this one i'm gonna make a silver one and then we'll be finished just something easy and fun Nothing, um, you know, too much. I mean, the reason why I didn't want to add this chain, y'all, is because it's two different golds. This is a, a more of a yellow gold, and this is kind of a white gold. Before I do this, let me just go over this. Now, um, I have some chain that are, is for necklaces, but it's a little, it's not real thick and heavy. So I'm using this chain. This is the iron chain that I got at Hobby Lobby. And it comes on a roll like this. Because it's really for bags. 
bags and belts and stuff like that. And it's heavy. So this would be great for uh, making your purse charms and chunky charms and dangles and all that kind of stuff. Because it's very sturdy. So I got it in this gold. It's kind of like a yellow gold. Then I got it in this like dark silver. So I don't know if that'll work either. But I mean, you know, silver, it doesn't look as bad when it's silver, I don't think. As opposed to two different color golds. So I may try to do use that for the silver one. Okay. And then, like, see, here's the chain. This chain is a little too... I don't know, y'all. It's just more for necklaces, is what I'm saying. I'm not calling it flimsy or anything, but it's... I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't be confident using this for... Uh, yeah. <laughs> this one she thick. Yeah. This one's a little on the thin side. She kind of thin. She's petite. <laughs> this one's sticky thick. <laughs> this one's nice and thick. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess if that's all you have, you know, use it. But if it's m my personal preference, I would use a heavier, thicker chain. So, again, it's a personal preference. Use what you have, make it work, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I'm going to keep these. Always keep your little rings because you can always use them for something else. And then this one, I'm just going to put the um, put the charms on here because that's pretty easy. Fairly easy. I guess if people don't know how to use the tool and how to add the um, split rings, you know. You know what? I think. Hold on. Let me look and see what color this matches better. I think this color matches better. So you can look at your uh, colors and see what matches, you know. So I'm going to put those back. I think this will work too. But I think, I don't know, I think that's just too big. In my opinion. And if you want to see this really close, just watch it in full screen, y'all. Just watch it in full screen. That's all you got to do. All right. So I'm, I put my chain, in, I mean my charms in order here. So I got this one. I want this one because I'm going to make this a dangle like that, right? And then I'm going to add this one and then this one to this. That's cute. That is really cute. I love that. I love it. Wow. Really cute. And I pulled this little piece of chain off of here. I cut it yesterday. So I might add that later. Or I might just do a silver one. I think I'm going to do a silver one, y'all. Who wants to see silver? Type it in. The, uh, <laughs> she's medium. <laughs> right uh if you want to see a uh, one with done with the chain let me know but even with the chain i would i would still and that one just flew i would still add um split rings it just takes a little longer to do you know it takes a little bit longer so you take your your hook part there i don't know you can't see my 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 stuff here is not um uh, very what is it focused <laughs> uh wait let me see make sure my camera's not jumping okay i forgot to 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 focus it but uh yeah hold on so you just take the hook part and you just stick it in the um little piece here and you open it up it's a little let's see it's a little hard here and they're so small all right, there we go. I pin, I pull it open. All right, now I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna put them on here. What I do is I try to just add them all at the same time, and then you know once I'm done, I add them all to the place. Yeah, I like silver. Silver's cute. I don't really have most of the purses. Now that I think about it, y'all, most of the zippers and stuff on the purses is gold. I mean, I have maybe one purse that has a, uh, like a black zipper. But you can put gold on anything, y'all. It doesn't matter, you know. So I'm putting this on here, but I'm tucking this, tucking the piece back. So there, therefore, it won't come open. All right, like that. So you can see that a little bit. Let me see if I can focus this camera, y'all. Hold on one second. Just a second. Just a second. Hold on. 
Hold on. I didn't do this before I started. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, no. Hold on. Let me see. Talks amongst yourselves. Okay. Make sure that we're good to go. Make sure the focus is good. You know, I have yet to set up my new stuff. I don't know what I'm waiting on. I think because it's going to be such a chore. <laughs> I have to set up my new camera and all that. Uh, yeah, I got to do that, though, because this stuff is kind of, you know, kind of, kind of a lot. All right, so let me just go ahead and add the rings to all of these pieces. What time in, oh, we are 30 minutes in. Okay, I'm not trying to be here all day, y'all. I won't keep y'all all day, I promise. But I do want you to see this, how this works if you're interested in doing it. Right? Because I had somebody even ask me, so how do you even get the things open? I'm like, well, you got to get the tool. And da, 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 da. You know, it's just easy to show people as opposed to explaining it verbally. <laughs> now, again, when other people do this, they do it different. I don't know. I This is just my way of doing it. It just works for me better that way. It's just easier for me. But, um, you know, do what, do what works best for you. So, hold on. I need to... So, yeah, that's that. All right, got that. That one has one. That one has one. Put these two on there. We'll be good to go. <laughs> all right, you know what? What you could do is, here, let's close all these up. Well, except that one. Because we're just going to open this ring and slide them on there. <laughs> okay. So we can do that. Hold on. So if I get quiet for a second, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to concentrate so I don't poke myself because <laughs> I'm dangerous. <laughs> uh, dangerous. Then I wonder why my son's so clumsy. Bless his soul. Let's put it on. Open it up. There you go. And then we're going to tuck this wire. So you see how it's sticking out like that, right? Can you see that? Let me see. I don't think you can even see that. I don't think he could. Uh, yeah, see that? I'm going to really tuck that wire, tuck it underneath so it doesn't open up on us. So you might have to hold it closer to you just so you can uh, see it. Okay. And you got to push it back in there. Push it back. Hold on. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Might not be able to do it. <laughs> uh, have problems. Oh, well, let me see, y'all. These things take so long to figure out. Hold on. Just a second. I'm trying to get it. Uh, all right, well. I think that's going to be good enough. All right. Catch you later. Thanks for the video. Okay, thanks, Poochie. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And my little impromptu live tutorial here. All right. All right, let's do this. So you see that one is pretty thick. And I just slide it on there. Take your pliers and you slide it on there. Go around and around till you get it on there. Okay. And then you try to tuck your wire. Tuck this. If you can. If not, you're going to have to. What you're going to have to do is. Wait. Hold on. I think I got it kind of tangled. Oh, there we go. Um, Get another one and try it. Hold on. Okay, perfect. Went on there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. <laughs> so now these are all on. All right. So what we're going to do is just open this one up. Well, this one is kind of, you can open up with your hand. So you put them on in the order that you want them to go. 
So I want this one to be in the middle. That one to be on the... And then this is going to be the dangle. All right. Now these are two different goals. So I may look... For, I don't know. I, I like it with that, but I might have to find something else. So I'm going to put the flower on and put it on in the way that you want it to hang. So be conscious of that, okay? Because um, you want them to all be facing the same direction. So like that. All right. Because when they start uh, dangling, they'll be flapping around. So. All right. Again, you can make these for journals too. Just um, make us have a small uh, clamp closure. So you see how they are. Well, let me see here. I want them to be facing the same way. I might have to take one of these off. I might have to take this off. So I want it to. I'm going to have to take this off and try it again and fix it. It was facing the same way, but I put the B on wrong. So you just take it off and you... Wait, let's make sure the B is hanging right. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm going to have to add it like that. To It's going out of order, but that's okay. Where is it? Let me see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see. So, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put it on here. So, you just open it up. I This one you can open up with your finger, but some of them are pretty hard to open up. You know, you will need that tool. Split ring tool. Oh, okay. Perfect. See how they're facing the same direction? You see that. All right. So there's that. And then I want this one in the middle. So let's open this one. Wait, do I want to open that one? Let me see. Yes. Oh, no. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm whispering to my kid. <laughs> what do you want to do? Okay, go watch TV and play or play your game. Well, you gotta have something. I don't know what to tell you. No. Like I'm alive, honey. Give me a second, okay? Hold on, y'all. Just a second. Hold on. I'm gonna still work, guys. But uh, um. Can you hear me now? Can y'all still hear me? Can everybody, anybody still hear me? All right, I'm back, y'all. Sorry. I'm back. Now we're, just, we're just trying to put this on here. I like these colors. This uh, sort of black. I kind of matched them like that. Why is it jumbled here? Just a second. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't put this one all the way on. That's right. Oh, here. Let's put this. Make sure this one's on. Well, it's not on. So there. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's on now. Yay. Very cute. Wait, let's push it down just a little bit more so you guys can see it. A little bit more. And then I'm going to put the purse on. And then the star is going to go on the, star, on the uh, starfish. Let's make sure... We are putting these on correctly. All right. Take it and go around like that and just add it. Oh, yay. So cute. Ooh, this one's pretty. That'd be cute on a black purse. Okay. Hi, Danielle. Good. Having a, you know, 
issues here. <laughs> so yay, that's cute. Although, let me look for some more charms, y'all. Just a second. Let's go digging through the charm, the charm boxes. Hold on a second. All right, let's see what we have. I'm not sure about that star. I like it, but I don't know. I don't know. It may work. Uh, I don't see anything in here I like. So, yes or no. I mean, I kind of think they're all similar. I think that looks fine, but let's see if we have something else we can add. Oh, that's cute. It's a different color gold, though. But I don't think it looks bad. What you guys think? Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, well, that's cute. This is my other charm. Box of charms. See, here's some cute um, silver ones I was going to do. I might add. But I may do that later and just do a project share or something. Because this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. <laughs> As always. Uh, oh, let's see. Here, these are cute. Hold on. Let's dig through the charm. Oh, that's just cute. Look at that one. Wait, let's see. <gasps> Ooh, I like that one. I think I like that one. I like that one. Oh, this one. <laughs> Put that on something, right? So this is where I got the starfish ones. I have some in silver and gold. And there's a little seahorse there. I would put some of these on it. But the problem with these, y'all, is that they're really glass. And they will break. Okay? So just so you know, if you put them on something and somebody, you know, like a bracelet or whatever, and they bang against something, they will break and open up and all the stuff inside will fall out. That's a tip. Okay? And uh, so, yeah. Oh, I like that too. These are all cute. I'm going to use those on something else. So, and then I think I like that one. All right. Let's see. I think we're going to go with that one. Let me see. I don't have any black. Because I want to keep it kind of small. All right. So, all right. There's that. All right. Well, let's, let's do that. So, I don't know. This jump ring seems pretty thick. Let me see. Huh. I don't know. I would be afraid that that would come off. Honestly. If you put it on a purse, the jump ring. That's just my thought. But, you know. People can add. Oh, thank you. Hi, Latin girl. Thanks for joining me on this impromptu live. <laughs> So, oh, sorry, y'all. I'm hitting the microphone. Okay. So I'm just going to open that and put this here. And then do that. And then add that there. And then put it on here. I'm trying to speed this process up. All right. And then I'm adding it to the uh, connector piece. That's all I'm doing. Just to give you some ideas and inspiration to make your own sort of little um, jewelry pieces or journal pieces or whatever you want to make. And what I want to do is take this and stick it through here to make sure it's on. Oh, yeah, there we go. And just tuck this wire if you can. Sometimes they go back and sometimes they don't. If they don't go back, so the way the shape, just get another one. I mean, I got to put it closer to me to tuck it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, y'all, this is cute. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Here, let's see. A little purse and a little, um, isn't that cute? He's cute. Ain't that cute? Hi, Angie B. Isn't this cute? I think this would be a cute journal charm, too. You know, just like I said, change this piece out and get a smaller 
ring. If you have a big journal, you can put that on the outside of a journal or a purse. Really, this is about purse charm, jewelry, you know, jewelry for your purses. But again, you can make these however you like. So I have this one and this one. These are so cute. Look at that. I might have to put some of these in my Etsy shop, y'all. <laughs> these are going to be cute. Ooh, nice and cute and sturdy. All right, so that's those two. Now, that's some ideas for that. And then I showed you the idea for this one already. All right, so that's the other idea, right? Just having a regular keychain and just adding something to it, you know, like some connector pieces where you can dangle the, um, the charms off of the connector pieces like this. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful, right? Where do you get your charms? I get them everywhere. Get them everywhere. Um, like literally everywhere. Online, Etsy, um, you know, craft stores, bead stores. I've spent a long time building up my my uh, stash for my charms. Hold on one second, y'all. Just one second. Blake, what are you doing? Okay, go downstairs and watch TV. Thank you. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> my son's upset because I won't give him my tablet. I'm like, boy, yeah, you ain't getting the tablet. He got all the devices in the world, but yet he wants my tablet. I'm like, I'm on my tablet right now. Thank you. Y'all with kids, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Joanne's has great charms, y'all. Joanne's has great charms with great prices. So there's that one. So we made three. Well, I made this one first, but this one's pretty easy. You know, nothing to nothing really to any of these. It's just more so of the idea of the layout and design you like. But for somebody that's never made anything like this, this would be a cute little idea. Right now, I have this chain, like I said. So I don't really want. Honestly, I don't want this two goals together, but for the purpose of what I'm doing today, I will go ahead and put these two together. <laughs> I got these at Hobby Lobby. All right. If you want to know where I got them, that's where I got them. Key change. Again, you can find these anywhere. Etsy, Amazon, all over the place. Any kind of craft stores, bead stores, whatever. So what I'm going to do is just attach this chain. Sorry, y'all. I got my window open if you hear that. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It's one of these. It looks great. Thank you. See, easy peasy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right. All right. So we have that. Now, this is a little bit more involved because you have to think about the length of the chain and how many charms you want to add. I see people adding a gazillions of charms and beads and all of that to these. My personal preference is they're cute, but they're not for me. Right. Chunky charms are cute, but again, not for, because I feel like the, if, you know, like if it's on a purse or keychain, it's going to come off because they just have basic, um, jump rings and at any time they can fly off. Well, if you're going to add all these charms and beads, I would do split rings just to make sure they're secure and I would keep it short as well, because you can always hang something under. So it's going to be kind of long, right? So that's like a lot. I would probably do less than that. I'm going to probably do, I think I'm going to take off one of these links. Now these, this chart, this chain is really thick. It's for purses and belts. Okay. And you can get that anywhere online or any craft store, you know, um, hold on. Let's try to open this. Wait, let me make sure I grab it. And this is really, see, it's tough. This, this person in this car keeps revving their engine it's driving me crazy in a ne in a residential neighborhood like really god what an idiot oh see how hard that is so that's tough to open which means it'll be tough for it to fall apart so i'm keeping it short right you can make it as long as you want and all of that um this is again this is this chain for those of us who just joined me uh this is like the chain you get for uh belts and bags and stuff like that oh good danielle see that's why i figure you know sometimes things are simple and easy but then it's a good reminder 
for people or it's a different type of a project people may want to share in and things like that. That's why I like to do simple, sometimes simple projects. You know, I was making these last night just for my new purses. And I thought, well, maybe other people might want to see that. (laughs) And they can make their own. (laughs) And if you can't make one, y'all, you can get one for me. (laughs) You like the ones I had, check out. I might put a couple in my Etsy shop. But they may be a little bit more fancy if I put them in the Etsy shop. But we'll see. Because this one's going to go in my new bag. Okay. And this one, I already have one on my new coach bag. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. I don't know. I might, I don't know. I might add something else to that. But right now, that's what I like. So, again, you can do them in silver and gold or whatever other colors you may have. So, now we just have to choose charms, y'all. And they don't necessarily have to be matchy matchy. You know, um, I kind of like this one. That's cute. Wait, let's push these aside, y'all. Okay. Let's push these aside because we already made those. So, um, I don't know. I mean, look, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Look, I love this butterfly. I like that. And you can put them on here in the way, in the order, the links that you want to put them on. Like you say, I want to put this one on the first link. And then this one on the third link. So you can go down so they'll be staggered. Because I think that's just a better look. Oh, I like this little mushroom. Oh, that's so, that's so cute. It's like something real, you know, easy peasy. Let's see. What do we got in here? <laughs> I'll get another star. I got plenty of stars, y'all. Plenty. We have plenty of stars. Oh, I got a bee. Starfish, a mushroom, and a bee. That's cute. Uh, I don't know. I need to close my window, y'all, but it's so hot here. It's like in the 80s today. All right. Oh, see, this is what I mean. Like, see here. Let's, let me, let, let's talk about this. So you say you use a bead dangle, right? And it just has a jump ring on it. And most people who do this just generally take the jump ring and add it to the chain and they make the chunky charm. Well, that's going to come off. I'm just telling you. I'm making jewelry for... A very long time. If you're going to add that, make sure this loop is closed. And you got to make sure that you have a split ring on it so it does not fall off. That's just my recommendation. Okay. Everybody can do what they want. That's just, um, you know, my thinking. All right. So we tried that one already. I don't know. I kind of like this little pop of color. I think that'll be cute at the end. Right? Very cute. I don't want to know if I want to put so many charms on there. Like, you could always add, like, look at the little donut. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Look at that. Like, just all kind of fun little little things you can add to, you know, your pieces. Like, these silver ones, I'm going to save these for the uh, silver ones that I do. Like a little unicorn. Oh! That's so cute. Oh, look at that. That's cute. I like that. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven charms. I think that's enough. Right? Or let's see. I'm going to do one like that. I don't know. I like the, uh, I think I like the little flower on there. It has little pops of color. That's cute. <laughs> so I was going to use these for the silver one. You know, the big ones, these, all these, all these look great, really cute on a silver, you know, all these look really, really cute on a silver, um, charm, silver dangle thing, purse charm, Jesus, can't speak, <laughs> can't get it together, so, oh, yeah, I might save the, I might put these out for it, I'll do the silver one off camera, and I will post it on my Instagram uh s garrett designs on instagram oh i have a silver one here okay so wait let's see look i'm sorry i got distracted (laughs) Uh, and you can always use a sentiment charm as well too that's always nice unique love stuff like that hold on let me put these on the floor y'all
Okay. Oh, that's the jump rings, and then this is the other stuff. Here's my fun charms. Now, remember, I, I talked about these at the beginning, right? You can use something like this with this. So you see how colorful and bright those are? Excuse me. You can make, you know, this, the same type of thing with your fun, chunky, bright charms, right? You know, your fruits and your gummy bears and pom-poms and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's a thought too, y'all. Really, really cute, okay? So, just keep your options open when uh, making these. All right, so I'm almost an hour. I'm trying to hurry, y'all. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Which which ones look better? I think these look good. So, how many we got? Seven? So, you pull out your seven rings. Um... And then you just start adding them. Well, you got to take the jump rings off first. So make sure you take all the jump rings off first. Well, if you can find the opening here. Okay, just go through and take all those off. I'm trying to work a little faster here. I don't necessarily like to work so fast. That it seems rushed. You know, I see people do that. And people say, oh, it worked fast. I mean, a lot of people say that. And some things, yes. But some things, you can take your time. There's no rush. There's no race. <laughs> We're not racing. You know, that's not you got, you know, something to do. But that's how sometimes mistakes are made. All right. So I'm going to put these in the order that I want them to go in. All right, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get, get these out of here. So we keep it, we're keeping all these little jump rings, okay? The ones you take off, just because you can always reuse them. All right, make sure you have live chat checked, guys, just so you make sure that you're seeing the whole chat, seeing everybody's conversation or posts or whatever. All right. All right, so we're taking all those off. We're keeping those. Now, I mean, let's see. You can probably add two per link if you want it to. Well, I'd like to have my pieces staggered. So one on one link and, you know, so on and so forth. All right. And then give this video a thumbs up, please. I have no thumbs up in, in on here. So if you guys are watching this and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps engagement. I'd appreciate it. If you like what I'm showing you. Please and thank you. All right. And um, don't forget to follow me on my social media. At Stephanie Garrett Creative on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And at Stephanie Garrett Designs over on Facebook and Instagram for my jewelry. And also check out my other channel, my lifestyle channel, Stephanie Garrett. Stephanie G's Lifestyles. All right, for um, all things not crafty, <laughs> fashion, hauls, travel, videos. I'm going to try to do some reviews on some things, you know, so it, that's going to be a fun content, uh, fun content over there. You know, when I'm able to post content, because this is my main channel and that's just a second channel. All right, so let's go through and add these as quickly as possible and then we'll just close them up as we go along okay thank you some thumbs up i'm gonna have to redo this somebody's giving sending me a message on it on facebook <laughs> i got three hearts three loves i don't know what that means i don't know what that's <sighs> maybe that's on facebook but give this video a thumbs up all right, so we're doing that. Okay. And I do have uh, some other videos that I filmed that I have to edit. So those will be coming out. All right. And I have a haul that I did the other day. You can check that out. It's from Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby Clearance, if you have not seen that video. Got lots of good clearance goodies. Somebody gave it a thumbs down. I guess, you know, there are people going around on YouTube 
giving people thumbs down for certain videos. And my thing is, if you don't like hauls, don't watch them. Seriously. You're wasting your time watching something, giving a thumbs down. I mean, thumbs down helps. Don't get me wrong. It, it's engagement. You know, if you don't even like this video, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it helps engagement, but it's just, sorry, Jonah, what are you changing? Why are you changing the rings? What do you mean changing the rings? I don't get what you're saying. Changing what? These rings? Because I'm trying to make my own charms. I don't want these on there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making it my own. You don't have to change the rings. You can leave them on there. I'm not making a key. Well, it's not really a keychain. It can be a keychain because you can still put your keys on here. I just didn't like this big chunky thing on here. That's just not what I wanted to do. I wanted it for a purse charm, a purse dangle. And I'll show you the purse for folks who got here late. I don't want that key thing on my purse. Now, if you're going to, again, put it on a key ring, leave it on there. I don't want that because I actually have a couple of uh, my keys get so banged up in my purse and stuff that I can't even imagine putting something this cute on my key ring. I'm going to be honest with y'all. <laughs> That's just my thing here. Let me show you. I took it off because of this. See this? This is the, co this is the coach purse. I did a walk through this bag on my other channel and this is what I'm putting it on here like this on the side of the bag. That's what I'm doing. The little rings. Oh, you mean the uh because I wanted the charms to be able to stay on the stay on the purse, right? So I say I put this on my purse, right? And I'm walking around, blah blah blah. You know, you know how we do, ladies, put the car put the purse in the car and in the cart and all that stuff. Well, this things can go flying off as just jump rings. If you put split rings on here, the chances are they'll stay a lot uh stronger on here. So I mean, I guess they could still fall off, but chances are they won't. So that's why I put split rings instead of jump rings. All right, so split rings keep your stuff on your um, charms. Hold on, this purse keeps falling. Sorry, give me a second. I don't like to use, when I'm making stuff like this, I honestly don't like to use jump rings. I mean, I have in the past, and then I realized, because um, I made, I have an old video that I made a few years ago, maybe three, four years ago, y'all. I made like a purse charm. It was long and big and I used all jump rings. Now, if I were to redo that, I would not, um, I would not use jump rings. So that's just a preference because I want the charms to stay. Okay. Sorry, Sue. I didn't know what you were talking about. Thanks for watching on Facebook, by the way. <laughs> I have a few Facebook watchers. Oh yeah, guys. I forgot to tell you. I've been running my mouth. We are live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay, I haven't seen anybody uh, over on Twitter commenting yet, but they're lurking. Hopefully they're lurking. All right, so that's what I'm doing. All right, now I added all these and I left them open just a little bit. Okay. Okay. <sighs> So I'm just going to add them to the links. Now let's see if this works. Because these links are pretty thick. Right? These are the links I'm using for the purse. I don't know, y'all. This might not work. I might have to rethink this. <laughs> so these are fat. Ooh, or you know what? You can always use bigger. Hold on. Always use the big rings. The, the nine millimeters. Like the big ones. The ones I'm using now are seven millimeters. So, I don't know. I don't know. If not, I will. what I would do is just, you know, add them later. And then I will just show them to you on my um, Instagram page and my Facebook page. And that way you can see how it turned out. Because it will be too long if I start over. So, let's see. Jeez. I forgot this chain is so thick. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all hold on wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute having problems hold on just a second let me try to pull it together here let's see if we can get it on there because if we get it on there we're going to have to close it up let's 
let's just put it around. I don't know. I should have used it. I might have to use the bigger rings. Ah. Slipping. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Y'all. Just a second. I don't think this is going to work. Honestly. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I'm doing it wrong. Duh. Okay. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Got it on. These chains are a little fat. They're kind of fat. F-A-T fat. I'll look at the chat in a second. I'm just trying to get this on here. Okay. Oh, and then tuck that wire just so make sure it doesn't fall off. Oh, okay. We did it. Yay. Yay, y'all. All right. And you just go through and add your uh, charms. I mean, I like it better with the smaller rings, to be honest. But if it doesn't fit on your chain, use the bigger rings. Okay. Um, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I got a technical issue here. Okay, there we go. Good Lord. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. So, yeah, I think it's going to be cute. I don't know what I'm making this for, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how it looked. So there's that. Okay. All right. And then uh, at some point I'm going to make a, um, make the silver one. I'm not going to do it today because I think we'll be here too long. So wait, let me see which, which link I want to put the silver. I mean the, the donut on. Well, let's lay it right. I don't think it's laying right. Hold on. Well, it's on this side now. So that's fine. We'll just put the donut over here. So that's on the first link. I'm going to do, do, do the donut on the second link. Probably this one on the third link. Uh, I have to reorder them now, which is fine. Put this one at the bottom. Put the B down here on this the third link from the bottom. And then add the mushroom somewhere in the middle. I think that'll be good. And then the unicorn. Okay, so I think that's cute. You think that's cute, y'all? I think it's cute. Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Again, give it a thumbs up. Let me go out of it to see if I got some thumbs up here. Hold on. Oh, 11 thumbs up. Yay, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, make sure your live chat is checked, y'all. See, hold on. See where it says live chat? Make sure it says live chat in the corner so you can see all the whole chat. All right. Oh, here, let's move that. We'll make that later. Um, I'm going to add this to the second link. Hold on. The second link. Wait, that's one link. Sorry, I'm off camera because I'm trying to see up close. So this is the second link. But I got to make sure I add it on the right side. Just so they'll look even. This is not working. <laughs> it's not cooperating, y'all. It's not cooperating. Just a second. It's not cooperating. Okay, thick chain. Got to maneuver it a little bit different. All right, I'm just going to add them and then I'll close them up later. So let's just do that for, for time. Oh, that's going to be so cute. All right, so cute. All right, just a second. 
Hold on, it's twisted. Why is it twisted? Okay, here we go. Okay. So we're going to add this one over here. I'm just going to put them all on there. I'm just going to add them on different links. So this is one, two. I'm going to add them on the next link down. All right. All right. So we added that. Oh, that's cute already. Y'all, when I was in that coach store, I, I kid you not, they had some charms about this size. But probably maybe three or four charms. It was like 20 bucks. I'm like, girl, I can make that. <laughs> and it's going to be much cuter than the ones they had. I mean, theirs was good quality, obviously. So, you know, but when we can, when in doubt, we can make it ourselves, right? We have all the stuff to make everything, you know, that's why we have all this stuff so we can make a bunch of stuff. All right. So I think I'm going to put it on this side, y'all. I'm just going to make it kind of chunky, kind of full. Let's see here. I might have to close my door. My husband's finally back. and uh, He and my son are getting ready to play video games, so they're going to be screaming. <laughs> you know how they start screaming. Okay, hold on. Let's try to put this on here. All right, there we go. Oh, that's cute already. Oh, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. I'm going to put this last one here. Oh, I got to put my unicorn on there. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I'm just going to add them in different places. Um, I think this goes on the other side. It's getting all tangled. Sorry. Here, just a second. Let me straighten it out. Eh. What is going on? Hold on. Okay. There we go. Getting it all tangled. <laughs> it's all tangled. So, oh, here, let's do this one on this side. I mean, I guess it kind of doesn't matter because however you have them on here, it's still going to look cute, you know? I think I'm going to put this one on here, one beneath. I think I'm going to do that on there. Okay. Oh, he turned the air condition on. Thank the Lord. Because it was hot. It was hot, y'all. Hold on. Let me close the window, guys. Hold up. Air conditioning. Thank the Lord. I got all these lights on in here. It's getting hot. Oh, but it's so cute. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So cute. I'm going to stick this on a purse so you guys can see how it looks. Adorable. Really adorable. Just so pretty. I'm going to put the mushroom at the top. Oh, you can have it. I'll put it on this one and then we'll put the flower at the end. So we have something at the bottom. And I will just go through after the video and close everything up. All right. Oh, when I put a jump ring on here, a jump ring, a, a split ring on here. Okay. Trying to get that tip there. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Pull it out. I like to pull it out just so I can see it. All right. Put that on there. Okay. And then we're going to put it at the end. All right, this should be a nice little cute little easy project for you guys. Those of you who have charms and chain and 
you know, all those, all those sorts of things. All right. I just know it's tricky, these um, split rings here. Hold on a second. There we go. There we go. Got to pull them through. There we go. Done and done. Oh, that's cute, y'all. So we made that one. We made this one, you know, with the chain. We had one without the chain, just the charms. So we made one with the keychain. Okay, so if you have a ready-made keychain, you can just add your charms to that. And then we made this another one with charms. So that is adorable. I hope y'all love this, right? Do you guys love it? Tell me you love it. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on a second. Now, this is, again, my new little crossbody bag. I did a walkthrough of this bag on my channel. But you know what? This is going to be probably too long. But let's try it anyway. Let's see. Uh, so if you want to know where I got this bag at, what it looks like, all of that, check it out on Stephanie G's Lifestyles. The link is in the description. Here, let me put the link back in the description here. Hold on a second. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, hold on. <laughs> I'll close it out. <laughs> hold on. Yes, I closed it out accidentally, and I have to go back all the way back in. I was trying to change screens, and um, I missed it. Okay. All right, let me pull the video video up for you guys. Oh, here, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. Okay. So, all right, y'all. Um, oh, here we go. There we go. That's the video. So if you want to see, you know, the bags and everything that I got in my Vegas trip, it's all on my other channel, okay? Let me get you the link here. Just one second. And uh, let's see, copy. Hold on. Trying to be technical here. Paste. Okay, and there it is. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. I'd appreciate it. If you do, okay? There we go. Now, back to the show. Uh, there, see? This is cute, though, but it, and it's on a small bag, right? So you would need to put this on a bigger bag if you want to do that. But it's still fabulous. Really fabulous. And as you see, you don't need a whole lot of charms on it. Because, you know, the more charms you put on it, the heavier it's going to be. So if you already carry big mom bags, giant bags like I do, you know, it can make your purse even heavier. So you may want to have something light. Like I would switch this out. Hold on. I would switch this out like this and maybe put this one on here, right? And you could use a different uh, clamp on a closure and you have yourself a cute. Now, see, that's perfect because it's nice and dainty. It's small. It doesn't, it, you know, it's not heavy. It doesn't take a lot of room. All of that, right? And it has a cute little purse charm to match. Look at that little purse charm. Matches perfectly. So, you know, just gauge it for your different bags and other things that you're going to be, you know, using them for, okay? I'm going to set this bag up here in a few minutes. Uh, in a little while. Let me see. Where's the coach? Let's try the coach. Because I have this one. Oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. My microphone is messed up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Too much going on. All right. Let's put that over there. All right. Let's see. And let's go back. Let's go out a little bit. There we go. That's better. We can all see. All right. So, like this one we just made, right? Super cute. This will go perfect on here. Right? Because it's nice and dainty. And again, it's not heavy or anything like that. Isn't that cute? 
It's right on the side of there. Or you can put it on your zipper, too. I mean, they go on zippers, too. You know? The zipper will work good, too. But I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting it on a zipper. I just wanted to dangle off the side. And I think that's super cute. Okay? So this is just to give you something to be inspired by and try to make something kind of easy and simple and very cool. Okay? So, and you can have different ones for different bags. <clears throat> Hold on, let me put that over there. So I uh I probably at some point I'm gonna probably make a silver one too. Just to have a silver one. I'm gonna close the rings on that one. These are finished. This one's finished, and this one's finished. Right? And then so is this one. So we get ourselves five, excuse me, pardon me. Five fabulous um, you know, purse charms. Okay. And the cool thing is you can make them kind of custom make them however you like. I'm going to see if I have anything silver. Because I don't know if I have too many bags with silver, um, silver, you know, silver findings and zippers. But I definitely want to try some colorful ones because, you know, I love color. And you always keep your rings because you can reuse those. So, And then you can get these rings at Hobby Lobby or um, any place else. Amazon sells them. I don't know if Michael sells them. I don't, I've never seen them. At my, they might. They might sell them in the packages. I think they sell them something like this in Michael's, you know. So, all right. So that is going to be the video, I think. And this chain is awesome. It's amazing. So you can get some of this chain at uh, Hobby Lobby. All right. If anybody has any questions or comments, you can definitely leave it below and I'll answer and get back to you. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and thanks for the thumbs up. And give me a follow on my social media. I'm at Stephanie Garrett Creative on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And Stephanie Garrett Designs over on Facebook and Instagram for my jewelry. When I finish some of these, I'm going to post them up on my Instagram and Stephanie Garrett Designs, okay? All the links will be listed down in the description. So you just click on the link and you can follow it. Thank you for watching, Trippin'. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sue and Poochie and anybody, Danielle and all the other folks who joined me. Love my babies forever. Some of you are new. I've never seen your, your, you here before. So I thank you and I appreciate you for joining me. And I hope, uh, you know, you guys have a wonderful weekend. And let me know, you know, if you made some, how it came out. Give me a, leave me a post in the description, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.